everybody, my name's Karen Fire, and welcome to this week's Community Crunch, which is exciting. I've got exciting news for you today. Scorched Earth coming out earlier than we think. Really cool new shots of the Oasis Saw and the brand new pack, even a shot of the Faso. New sneaky drops on Steam and some words about the ARC animated series. So let's get straight into it. So we're starting off the crunch today with this really cool image. Let's have a look at it. And here we go. This looks epic. Look how massive the Oasisaur is. We got a train track going here. We got a couple of armors. There is a lot to see. This is all going to be in Bob's Ark Tall Tales by the looks of it. So that will be something you will need to pay for when it comes uh, to Scorched Earth get and release. But you can see this is awesome. Even up here, notice quite a difference here. There's an arched window. We don't have arched windows in the game. We. Mm, mm. What is this going to be? Is this going to be sloped archways? We're getting a brand new building piece by looks of it. This thing, friggin' amazing looking. It looks really like docile. It's hilarious. Uh, I'm looking forward to taming one. Down at the bottom here, we have the Faso. It looks really cool. Saddle is amazing. And then we have a couple of horse outfits. I think that might be the female version down there. Maybe that's the male version right there. Or maybe it's two complete different skins. But either way, there you go. I'm just hoping that the female version isn't derpy like the desert gear. Because, oh my goodness, I'm so fed up with that. <laughs> and you can see someone in the desert gear right there. A female in the desert gear by the looks of it. Uh, that, you know, I, I prefer the male version of that one a lot more. So, yeah. Also, something to notice on the back of this train, there is a cooking pot and a couple of barrels and a ladder. It looks like maybe on the platforms that you get on the back of the train, you'll be able to build anything you like, like a base, maybe some vaults we saw in the other image and much, much more. So you'll be able to have a base on a train, a moving base. That sounds incredible and crazy. I can't wait. I'm so excited, honestly. Apart from that, that's what we pretty much see from this image, but I'm looking really forward to it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below of all of this, whatever this is. Oh, what do you feel about it? Let me know. Either way, once you're done with that, come back up here and let's talk about some more things about this. So we have Venture to the Skies of Scorched Earth with the Oasis Saw, a colossal yet gravity-defying island reminiscent of a mythical legends. Beyond its sheer size and appetite for large vegetation, this airborne sanctuary cultivates life with soil so fertile that it promises growth with minimal effort. It's back far fast enough for a small community becoming a nurturing ground for those seeking refuge and companionship. The Oasis Oil's most magical offering is the pool with healing waters capable of curing ailments and even resurrecting lost animal friends. So they are doubling down on this thing being a resurrection creature. They have said it's healing, but I'm wondering with this whole thing on its back, is it just going to heal your dinos or is it actually going to bring a dead dino back to life? We'll have to find out. And then we move on to this beautiful image of uh, Bob. <laughs> I love it, it's kind of cute. And they said, we see the confusion in the community about Bob's tall tales and the estimated dates in the description. So we wanted to share a quick update. I love that, transparency, let's go. Think of Bob's tall tales as a fun bonus chapters to the main story. The dates on the store page are a rough time frame for those wild Bob-centric adventures, not release dates for the main expansion content they tie into. Think of the expansions like the main course and Bob's tall tales as an extra spicy side dish. So yeah, DLC, and we'll go over that in just a second. They said, don't worry, the main canonical content is still on track. Scorched Earth will be blasted off on March 31st. They're going a day early that we get to get into this. So that is really exciting. Really can't wait for that. That's going to be amazing. Going to get it early. They said nothing about delays so far. They said the roadmap is looking good. Development progress is we'll be able to give better estimations of the rest of Bob's tall tales. So that is when we'll be able to go into Scorched Earth a day early. That is lovely. No mention about delays for console or anything like that. This would be the time for them to say if that is the case. So touch wood, everything is good for that day. Now quickly come over to Ark Ascended Steam page and come down here. And we're going to be having a look at something in here. It's the Arc Bob's Tall Tales in here. 
Now this gives us a few more examples of what is common in this one as they have a bit of description down here. And there's things they haven't mentioned in here that are mentioned in the Steam page, so let's get into it. They say the Frontier Showdown, that's the name of the pack, is available at launch. It is going to be a DLC, it is not going to be a premium mod. So that is a relief since mod space on console is a bit of a concern. So you won't have to worry about that. It's just whether they get it out on time. But they say saddle up and stake your claim on Scorched Earth. Build new Western style structures like your own Root and Tutan saloon. So brand new Western structures. That's one thing that we haven't seen yet. Or we did see in that image, but it's been confirmed extra here. Then they said about then tickle the ivories on your own piano for an authentic frontier experience. Brand new piano will be having a musical instrument for like the very first time in Ark. Apart from the war drums, we'll be having actual just a piano we can play, which is awesome. Then they said hunt for buried treasure with your trusty shovel. Tame hardy new creatures to pull your wagon and even hop aboard a chugging steam train to explore these harsh badlands. One thing I'm curious with is if we'll be able to place our own trains or we just get on like a main one that goes around the map. I have no idea on that one. I assume the wagon pulling creatures is either going to be like the Faso or horse or something like that. Well, that is going to be super fun. But yeah, new wagon, digging for treasure shovels, piano and brand new western structures all coming available at launch that is very exciting however there's a catch it looks like i like genesis and when we had genesis one and two out they're looking to do something akin of a season pass with this one because in the same dlc it's not a separate dlc the same pack they say about the steampunk ascent which is looking to be q4 2024 where you climb above the subterranean depths of aberration in your mighty airship Gear up with the retro futuristic gadgets and unravel the mysteries of this ignat ignat blah, 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 words uh, <laughs> lethal underworld. I'm just gonna leave that in. Whatever, you know how it goes. But yeah, this is interesting. It sounds like the airship will be maybe above ground on the surface. That's gonna be really interesting to see how that works. Of those words, that's what makes me understand that, I suppose. And there's gonna be a pushback date to aberration, which honestly. You really shouldn't be surprised with how things have got delayed for Scorched and the center. It's absolutely no surprise that any of the dates on the original roadmap are probably scrapped by now. Um, yeah, I think they were way too optimistic with that. It's a lot of work. Um, definitely, no. <laughs> so Q4, for those that don't understand what that means, that is like the end of the year. So it could be anyone from September to December. So it could be something like a Christmas release uh, you could be expecting here at the latest. And they also say Wasteland War Q1 2025. Fuel up your war rigs and fight to rule the desolate wastes of extinction. Prepare for high octane action as you clash with rival tribes and scavenge for survival in this post-apocalyptic wasteland. I'm going to be really honest with you guys. If that's coming out in Q4 24, I don't know if they're going to be able to get Extinction out on Q1. Because that's, if they leave it to December, and then they decide Q1, that's kind of like, that's like January, February, March, April at the max, really. Maybe not, even just the first three months. I don't know, that's a really close together launch again. I would not stick by this and expect it at that time. Keep your expectations down here, not up here, okay? I'll save you a lot of stress with that tactic. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, this is a whole thing. I definitely think it's going to be a lot like how Gen uh, 2 and 1 was done with the Season Pass. For those not familiar with the Genesis Season Pass, it buys you Gen 1 and Gen 2. It didn't used to be this cheap. It used to be about double that from my memory. Uh, it was a decent chunk of money, so... If we are buying three of these Bob packs when it comes to this thing releasing, then I would expect it to be a decent chunk of money. I will just say that. Uh, I wouldn't expect it to be cheap as chips. Although if they just released the one DLC, it would be a weird, bit weird having the two other DLC informations in there. Uh, then it'd probably be a lot lower. But I would expect it with the format they have it right now and on Steam. 
and the fact that there's the same DLC page, probably expect all three of those to be mixed in and be a decent chunk of money. So maybe like 20 quid, 30 quid, 40 quid type pricing. That is what I would expect right there. But to be fair, that is all up to speculation. Don't take that as raw facts. Please do not. That is just me brain cannoning in your direction. Either way, next thing on here, Mod Spotlight. Hey, apparently the video features only the acro. That is a that is a bit odd. <laughs> Let's have a look either way. It's movie time. <laughs> time to watch. Acro. This thing was a thing in Ace. It was actually really, really cool. So I'm glad it's coming back in Ace. And oh my goodness. Look how amazing that looks. Yeah. The way you tame it is really fun as well. Look at that big angry boy. Oh, oh he's mean. I wonder if Savage Acro is included as well. That's a boss one. It's really scary. Oh, yeah. Look at the models, dude. The models are so good. Oh, you can take him into boss fights. All right. It's literally just acros. <laughs> All right. That's a bit of a weird community uh, spotlight, but acros. Which, I mean, they are really good, so really nice to see they're coming back. Anyway, Arc Animated Series is live, but only for uh, America and Canada right now. Only, um, <laughs> we have to wait two weeks if you're anywhere else in the world, unless you will uh, do a little bit of a naughty with a VPN or something like that. Um, <laughs> either way. It's very awesome, worth a watch. Uh, I might do like a review on the channel at some point coming up. If I've got the time for it, it's going to be a very busy week for me. Those that don't know, get excited because when Scorched Earth comes out, that is when we're going to be starting up Monarchy again, which is a server that you can play on and you are invited to. So I hope you enjoy that. It's going to be a Scorched Earth experience. We're going yeehaw up in town, so I hope you look forward to that. Either way, very awesome. I love the animated series. Again, if you did watch it all or watch some of it, let me know what you think about it so far. The only thing about it is I wish, like, she has, like, a bit of hair in the middle of her face. It's like if I did a video and had this going on the whole time in my face, like this. It would... <laughs> that was very distracting in the movie. I wanted to discuss, like, when you have your hair like that, you don't just leave it like that. You go like this, don't you? That's what I wanted to do the whole movie. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh dear well well that was my only complaint right there and some of the music at the start was a little like jarring because i was like used to that i was like that's usually war music for when i'm getting attacked it was like oh no no it's not um <laughs> archathon community body test either way final day to vote is march 25th so get your votes in and get those people winning now if you're confused about all the voting and where to vote check out my recent community post on the channel which links everything for you Apart from that, there is bonus rates on the official servers to celebrate the animated series launch. It is going to be juicy, this one. Times four on PvE and PvP. Small Tribes get times six. Ark Apocalypse gets times seven. That is really nice. Very generous of Ark. And that will last until Monday 25th. So get going on the server and grind, my dude. By the way, <laughs> Community Corner, that is it. We have Stevia there, Vat Gorn. I think, wasn't he in there the other week? Either way, I'm glad to see him in there. And then we have some beautiful images and pictures in here, as always. Oh, look at that one. That is awesome. That is such a cool concept. Love that. By the way, I hope you guys had an awesome week and have enjoyed the Community Crunch and the Catch Up. Hope this has been a helpful video. If it has, please like down below. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you haven't already because it really, really does help out my channel. We're trying to go grow my little arc channel here. So if you can do that, then you are awesome. And have a lovely day. Thank you for watching. I love you all and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.